Uh, hey guys, um, I have something very exciting to share with all of you today. I finally uh, completed uh, this build that I've been working on for months now. This is a Graflex 2.5 in the configuration of A New Hope. Um, when you buy a Graflex 2.5, they don't look like this at all. I mean, they're really, really inaccurate. Um, they kind of look a little bit like this. So you can set it up to have a bubble strip for a new hope or the circuit card for the later ones. But a lot of these things are completely, like even the grips are, are completely inaccurate. And so I, what I did was the, just the main body, basically this bit here, the lower body right here, and the bunny ears is pretty much all I've used from um, the set that I got, but everything else has been purchased from um, places like Wanna Wonga, uh, KR Savers, a Graflex Shop, you know, you name it. I've done a lot of research on like what's the most accurate. There was a lot of trial and error. Um, some parts wouldn't fit right, they needed to be modified. It took a lot of work just to get it to look as accurate as possible, but this looks you know, I, I'm not going to say it's 100% accurate like a vintage because the dimensions are slightly different. It might be a little bit fatter, you know, that doesn't look right, but it's close enough. So I'm really, really happy with that. This is a static. I don't intend to install electronics or anything into it. Uh, I'm, I'm happy just displaying it. Um, so I'll just go over it. And um, for those of you who are interested, who own a graphics 2.0 or 2.5, and want to do uh, kind of a more accurate version of A New Hope, um, then this is what you need to do. We'll start from the top, work our way down. Um, so I kept the same bunny ears. There's, like, there's no huge difference between, you know, more expensive bunny ears. Uh, but the rivet there, or the screw right there, this is from the Graflex shop because it has a nice kind of smooth Trying to focus it. Whereas the one that comes with it is like an Allen head screw, so it doesn't look right. So it has like a, a, a point in it that you unscrew and that doesn't look right. It needs to be flat and smooth. And this, <laughs> this was such a pain because it was, it's shorter. So it comes up shorter to right here. So this, the bunny ears would, would, would like constantly fall off. And in the end, I just had to like put a little bit of glue here in the back to secure it. But now it's really, really good. And you know, you can still move the bunny ears. You can still operate them, open and close them. It's not a problem. Uh, this blade plug here is a seven eighth inch from KR Sabers. It looks all right. Uh, let's see. All right, moving on. The red button. So this red button is from. TGS, or the, which is the graphics shop. Um, this is one of the most accurate around in terms of the shade of maroon and also the shape of it. It looks like a vintage. But the bezel, this housing around it, I kept the original graphics 2.5 because it's not that different and the, the these are pretty expensive. So, I mean, yeah, I know it's it's a bit too shiny I can dull that down or I might replace it in the future, I'm not sure. It's not a priority right now. The beer tap, this is a TGS as well, and it's the dulled version as opposed to the chrome version that they have. This is more accurate, it looks like a vintage. Uh, the one that comes with this is completely off. It's, it's got like a big step or an angle, so that doesn't look right. The screw that secures it is Graphics 2.5, you can't use a different one just because of the size of the threading. Um, the washer underneath, I can't use just a custom from just a hardware shop because again, the one that comes with it is too fat, so it, it, it makes the beer tab like too raised. Uh, this, which is called a slide switch assembly, this is a more accurate version from TGS with the screw because it's got a, like a dull finish. The one that comes with it is too shiny, um, so I replaced it and got the screw as well because the original screw is an Allen head, 
So these are both from TGS, this and the one underneath it, the plate. Um, brass pens for a new hook should be smooth. The ones that come with it are like have a step. Uh, these are called Fulmer pins, uh, like the, Gra the uh, original Graflex on the vintage. And you can get these from TGS as well. Also the little brass contact over here on the top is also from TGS. Yeah, a lot of these parts in the upper portion are from TGS, and, and for the most part they all work, other than the bunny ear rivet which needed some modification. Um, this screw here was an Allen head, I changed it to a slotted screw from Chaos Sabres. Uh, what else? Yeah, obviously glass eye, the one that comes with it is wrong, it's all metal. Uh, this is the former version, so there's two versions at TGS, former and ink. A uh, former is more accurate for vintage for a new hope, so it's got that steeper angle here around and a kind of a dark lens. It looks really, really great. As close as you can get to a vintage without paying, you know, expensive uh, for a really expensive vintage. Uh, right, as we said, the upper body that's a Graflex 2.5. The clamp because it needs to be stamped with the Graflex, like that. This is from TGS, but you can also get really good ones from Romans. I just chose to go with TGS because I was doing like a bulk order. Uh, the one that comes with the kit is obviously inaccurate, doesn't have the stamping. Um, bubble strip that comes with it is fine, you could use it, but I preferred the one from Wanawanga is much more, the bubbles are much more raised. Uh, they just look a lot better. The, the light really kind of reflects off them nicely. Um, the lever for the clamp, I had to change. I didn't like the one that came with TGS. It's actually not accurate, surprisingly. Um, so I used the one that came with the kit. The one that came with the Graphics 2.5 is more accurate than the lever that came with the TGS clamp because it needs to be kind of rounded like that whereas the one that came with the TGS was kind of more angled and square okay moving on grips the grips that come with the kit are they're cut straight so I'm going to show you they're kind of straight like that from end to end Whereas for a new hope, they need to have this 30 degree angle cut from both ends. So I got these from KR Sabres. And I used um, a grip guide from Wanawanga to align them properly. Then there are these mystery rivets from Wanawanga. There should be two larger ones here and two slightly smaller ones on here. And these you can get from Wanawanga. And then the pommel. The pommel of um, the Graflex 2.5, as you know, is vented. Uh, so what you do is you get this disc from uh, KR Sabres, the one that says Graflex 3 cell, has a stamping, New York, Falmer, etc. It's just a disc that you just stick onto the pommel. And then you use this, this double um, D-ring from Wanawanga with the rivets. And that completes the look. You just line them up so that the rivets here on the D-ring line up with the rivets on the body, more or less. And that's it, you guys. This is as close as to, you can get to the on-screen version or the hero prop for A New Hope, the belt hanger. Um, I like it, it's not 100% accurate. There are parts which I still may kind of configure in the future, like the beer tab washer here. Um, I might get one from TGS just to give it the right amount of elevation. But these are only like small nitpicks. For the most part, I think it's really beautiful. This took months. 
it didn't come cheap, um, but you know, I, I like accuracy and I just wasn't happy with the way the kit looked. Even if you get like 89 Sabres or any of these slightly more expensive graphics kits, you can't really get to a good and you hope configuration without buying extra parts. So if you have any questions, feel free to ask. Um, and you know, I'll try to help out as much as I can. Um, I've got two more graphics to review. One is in ESB configuration and one is in the TFA configuration. Um, but they're not quite ready yet. So thank you all for, for watching and I will see you in the next one.